So, good morning. Welcome back to the River Rhine. As you can see, the floor is wet. It's been raining again all night. No surprise there, really. And I'm just waiting for this little shower to go over. Then it should be the last one for a little while, according to the weather radar. Then we can make our way. I'm heading to a little town near Karlsruhe, where I have a hotel room booked for this evening. So I'm in no rush. I can get there any time in the evening, obviously. And... Uh, No, nope, rain's decided to come down a bit heavier. Glad I was waiting under here. Yeah, so I have a hotel room booked for this evening. We get there when we get there. It's about 44 miles. Don't know what that is in kilometres. It'd be over 70 kilometres anyhow. First things first, we have to go about 6 kilometres to another ferry. Always exciting to get on a ferry in the morning. <laughs> so that's down the river. And that's up the river. There really isn't much of a view, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'm under this sort of boardwalk place. There's a restaurant up there, which is obviously closed this time of the morning. Right, I will probably get back with you at the ferry. flowing little channel. Really funnel the river through this bit. He's going to do a pirouette in the middle of the river. So that's this morning's ferry done. For anybody who's interested, they uh, seem to have a standard cost of two euros fifty for a cyclist. Now, I'm just going to go around the corner where I believe there's a little, according to the map, and get some breakfast. Actually, breakfast? No, that should be lunch.
it's going to be one of those days. I can't, can't even think what time it is. Must be getting on for midday now. So it looks like we're cycling along the bank again today. But if I see something that's worthwhile pointing the camera at, I certainly will. But we're also dodging showers. So as and when. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Before you ask, no idea. Some sort of museum. Tempting, a bit early though. So we're through Speyer, or Speyer, Speyer. Guess where we are now? Back on the bank. Woohoo! So I'm just on my way around Germersheim and come across this railway bridge. Thought I might as well point the camera at it as anything else. <laughs> and that's the Rhine at Germersheim. Scheim? Germersheim? Scheim? Oh, there it is. Germersheim. like it might rain again anytime soon so I'm gonna make a move I'm now on this lovely smooth cycle path for the next two and a half miles oh it's lovely And after Germersheim, we're back on the bank. Gonna miss this bank? Not. As you can see, it's been raining again. A lot more I can say about rain is there at this point. It's wet and it falls on me. It 
so whilst we're biking along here, I thought I'd just like to introduce everybody to a new member of the team. Say hello to Sid, everyone. Sid, say hello. Uh, Sid's a bit shy. Come on, poke your head out. You know you want to. Give him a minute, he'll come out of his shell. Imagine when he goes home to his wife and kids tonight. Tells him what happened, they'll be like, Shut up! Next you'll be telling us there's alien abductions. Not that I think Sid's going to be going home for his wife and kids. I've taken him about the equivalent of a million miles away. It looks like he's about to fall off, actually. Ah, oh, the things you do to entertain yourself when you're going along the bank. Oh! Sid! Sid! Where have you gone? Oh, I miss you, Sid. <laughs> I swear I'm cracking up with this bank. So the thought did just strike me that I should have called him Wilson. Then when he fell off, I could have done my best impression and gone, Wilson! Wilson! I'm sorry, Wilson! Anyone know the movie? First one in the comments doesn't win a prize. I've got 11 miles to go. I've no idea what the time is. I'm guessing it's about half past three. Maybe even four o'clock. I wonder if it's 11 miles of this bank. At this stage it wouldn't surprise me. I'm even fed up with seeing mistletoe. Everywhere I look is mistletoe. It was a novelty yesterday. Now it's like on every single tree I look at. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? Who knows? They all blur into one. The days of the bank. Oh well, get back to you in a bit. Well, the news is I've stopped with approximately ten and a half miles to go, I think. Oh, I wish I had my neat reading glasses. Now, 11 miles to go. I've stopped with 11 miles to go for a short break, but I'm also taking some painkillers because my knee is hurting, my left knee. Which is a shame. I've done all right the last two days, but I've done what, up to now, a hundred and... Oh, what does that make it? About 115 miles, 115 miles in the last three days. I guess it's taken its toll, it's too much really. Oh, and it still keeps drizzling all the time. It's not proper rain, it's just spots. Not enough to put the waterproofs on, but enough to be a nuisance. Thank goodness it's flat the rest of the way. So it just struck me, even though this is going to be a bit out of sync, I'm going to be in a hotel later and probably the best place to show you these bags is when I'm out and about and they're on the trike and fully loaded. So here we go then, these are the Ortley recumbent panniers that I'm using on this tour. They're obviously a lot different to the roll top ones that I've been using before. 
I've had these about a year, but this is the first time I've used them properly. I've been using them as day bags up until now. So, let's have a closer look. On the outside, we've got these two big buckles at the front. Then on each end, we have one of these small buckles. This handle here, the smaller, thinner handle, is to raise and lower the clips. These are the normal Ortlieb clips that hold the bag onto the frame. Then there's a stronger, more robust carry handle here. I wouldn't want to pick the uh, full weight of the bag up on that little thin strap. So they've given us a bigger, as I say, more robust handle here to carry the bag around with us. We've got these rather pathetic little elastic straps. There's so much give in this elastic, I wouldn't trust it to hold anything, to be honest. I don't really know what they think I'm going to use that for. Maybe a map? I don't know. No. Yeah, not impressed with that. It's really, really is. Look, you can see it's, it's a pathetic piece of elastic. I could change it, I suppose, and put a decent piece of elastic on there, but I'm not going to bother. I haven't been using it now. I don't suppose I'm ever going to. Small, non-waterproof zip-top pocket on there, just for keeping little bits and bobs in there. I keep a couple of straps in there just in case. It's also got some poppers on the top here. I guess that could be for a map holder of some description. There's one down here, out of sight, under the seat, and there's another one there. Excuse the dirt and dust on these. Um, but I just wanted to show you how they're held onto the rack. It's the same usual system that Ortlieb use. We've got these little clasps that go onto the top of the rack, and then a hook down at the bottom that holds the bottom of the bag in against the trike. Nothing peculiar there at all. So, with the bag back on the trike, I'll show you how the insides look. So, there's nothing really special about the inside of these. I'll just move my coat out of the way. Coats. Ah, can't get it. There we go. So, inside the bag, we have three straps. There's one, two, and three. And they hold the bag upright on the trike. If I undo them, you see it just drops down then. We can open it up and you see everything that's inside my bag. Which this one's got the tent in it. There's the tent down the bottom there. Take that camera out of the way before it falls on the floor. Which brings me to the big problem with these bags is that as you see when I open up the straps, it just falls forward and when the bag's really full, everything falls out on the floor. In fact, that's my biggest problem with these bags. There's no compartments, there's no pockets, there's no zips, there's nothing inside. Just literally one big empty bag. You throw your stuff in it uh, and then use those three straps to do it up. But as soon as you undo those three straps, boom. And it's very difficult when you're on tour to sort through all that stuff if you need something during the day. You've got to bury your head right inside the bag to find what you're looking for. Not good. I would have preferred something with pockets. The old roll top panniers that I had had an internal pocket in each of them. So second gripe with these is as you've just seen seven straps to get inside a bag four on the outside three on the inside the old roll top panniers one strap literally just that one strap on the top in any case despite those couple of gripes would i buy them again yeah of course i would they not only look better on the trike but they've got that little extra bit of capacity 
on top of the other bags that I used to have. Not that I want too much extra capacity, because extra capacity equals extra weight, but yeah, what I've got there is, is just right, I think. Yeah, overall I'm happy with them. And then of course I'm still rolling with the side bag as well, they're too handy not to have. I might just show you what I've got in them one day as well. So that's a look at my recumbent panniers. I think that's enough for today. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Ta-da!